here at Myaka River State Park. We're about to get a little bit of fishing in. See what we can do, maybe catch some bass. I know there's tilapia here, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Oh yeah, down here at the river. Got a little worm in here. Let's see if I can get a tilapia. Oh, I got something. I got something. Yeah. I got something. Let's see if I can't get him in. First cast with the little red worm. Probably a tilapia. This is really light tackle too. Very uh low pound test line. And that was with the worm, huh? Yeah, that was with the worm. Yeah, we got a little tilapia. Oh, God, he already Actually, a nice size one. Hopefully we can get him up. That's pretty quick if you already have a fish. Oh, I hope this line doesn't break. Is that your new fishing pole? Yeah. Let's bring him in. Oh, he's pretty. Look at that. Tiny, look. Ready? Right. My God, he's pretty. Look at that, guys. Come on, guys. Look at that. Not a bad little fish. Not bad at all. Get a release on him. Choke that worm. All right, he's going back. All right, guys, we got our first fish. Nice little tilapia on the big fat red worm. We're going back out. Try to get one more. We're gonna fish here for a minute and then go down to this little creek down here and see if we can get a nice bass or two or three. But you never know. Definitely uh, happy we got one though. There's a couple gators down there. We gotta watch out for them. Little Florida wildlife for you. Here we are at the beautiful Lake Mayaka. A little windy out here today. Get a couple clips of this bird. We got one, guys. Oh, he let go. So far, we're not doing too good. Had the one bite. 
one fish on, but he got away. I know there's fish in here. Might have to go back to the worm if the uh, spinnerbait don't do it for me. Gotta be some fish here. Ah, I know there's fish in here, guys. Just can't catch them. Can't connect. I gotta get one. We're not giving up, guys. We're not giving up the tree. Wow, what the hell was that? Something just jumped over there. Well, guys, it's not looking too good for uh, bagging a bass down here. Had a couple bites, we just couldn't connect. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down a little bit more, then I'm gonna work my way back, see if we can't uh, catch one of those ones that we had a bite on earlier and then uh, probably get out of here. At least we didn't get skunked. We did catch that one tilapia, but uh, it's not really what we're after. I mean, the channel's called Bass Bagger Fishing, not Tilapia Bagger Fishing. So we're going to keep trying out here, see what we can get. At least we're having fun. I mean, we're down here in Florida. It's beautiful weather out here playing around in the woods, so don't get much better than that. Lay down. There's got to be some fish hiding in here. Or alligators. Not even sure if we can cast here. Let's go on this side. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. Probably won't be. Out of butt, guys. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. No, he's gone. Oh, 
Oh, he's still there. He's there. We got him, guys. We got him. A little dinker. <laughs> but at least we got one. A little dinker. But we got him. Finally connected on the big six inch worm. Look at that little dinker, guys. Little tiny dinker. Well, at least we got one. <laughs> Let's get a little release on him and try not to fall in the water. Go ahead, little buddy. Well, we got a bass, guys. Didn't get skunked on bass. Definitely would have liked for it to have been a little bit bigger. But at least we got one. I'm starting to get concerned. <laughs> That guy, man, he, he, he bit it like three times. Kept missing it. And then he finally came back and got it. I knew there's, there's fish all over the place in here, man. In these little creeks off the Mayaka. Yeah, we got one, boys. Yeah, we got one, baby. Whew. I waited to set the hook that time. Let him eat it. I think that's what I was making the mistake before. Whew. Got one, guys. Look at that little guy. Not a bad little bass, y'all. Pretty little guy. What's up, buddy? Thank you, fish. Thank you for biting my Senko. Uh, perfect release. I think that's one of the ones that uh, I missed earlier, y'all. I'm telling you what. With this big six inch worm, man, you really gotta let him eat it. You can't be too quick on the, on the jump. This is what we're using, y'all, the little six inch uh, chartreuse with the copper flake Senko. We got the Gamakatsu 2 watt worm hook offset and a black tungsten bullet weight. Classic, classic little setup down here on a little creek of the Mayaka River. So that's our third fish of the day. We're gonna do one more cast right here and uh, probably head on back. Just gotta let him eat it. This thing has great action in the water, man. I tell you what, I love these little worms. Guys, just like that. Oh, this one feels bigger, y'all. Got another one. Right, second cast, first cast after that last bass. And I tell you what, y'all, my line is not that heavy duty. So I'm a little worried about losing these fish. Oh, he's a nice one, y'all. Oh, he's a nice one. Let's see if we can land him. Please don't break my line. Well, he's not a bad one at all, y'all. All right, I'm gonna have to get down here. I'm gonna close my ass going down there. Oh, come on, don't break, don't break, don't break. Yes, we landed him, y'all. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Look at that. That is a nice fish, y'all. That is a nice fish. He is not bad at all. Look at that. He's not bad at all. Beautiful looking fish, y'all. Beautiful looking fish. Yeah, he's a good one. He is a beaut. We're gonna walk over here and release him because I don't want to throw him down that far. It's like a four foot bank. What a nice fish though, guys. I'm telling you what. Hey, she's a beauty. Get a quick release. Perfect, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I love this spot. That was the first cast after that last fish. Unbelievable, y'all. I thought that was my last one of the day. I'm telling you what. I was just walking back. 
thought I was going to be done for the day. Figured I'd make one more cast. And you know what that means. I mean, we got to do one more. They're starting to bite like that. You know, y'all, the, the sun is going down now. So we might be seeing some, some bigger fish out here. They might start becoming a little more active. It's been sunny, bluebird skies all day. Uh, sun's just starting to go down. So I bet these fish are going to start getting getting out starting to feed I'm not sure what time the entrance to this park closes though so we might have to head up out of here in a minute y'all but uh we'll get back to you we'll just get a quick shot of where i'm fishing at just deep woods nothing but palm trees pine trees nice little creek area this thing runs for miles each direction and there are some nice fish in here i'll tell you what I've yet to catch a monster bass in here, but I know they're there. If I had a little bit more time, it sucks kind of going into the nighttime. You know, you can't really film that well with the low light conditions, but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting it in, y'all. We're bagging some bass. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thank y'all for watching. We out here at the Mayaka River. We got her done. We bagged a couple bass. We got a nice tilapia. Uh, we didn't get that monster that I was hoping for, but uh, there's always next time. Uh, keep on fishing, y'all. I hope some of these videos inspire y'all to get out there and do it, you know, do something you love to do. Um, I get out here every day and do something I love to do, fishing, you know, being out in the woods, being out in nature, and, uh, you know, just get out there and you know, have some fun, get outside. And again, thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next video.